Good morning. Today is a February 17th, a wonderful Wednesday. Beautiful weather. Actually, we are right now having a 48 degree Fahrenheit and there is no wind. It uh, feels so good outside. A lot of things happened yesterday and I was watching and laughing this all the developments what's going on around us. Apple refuses to order unlock the shooter's phone. The problem is the federal prosecutors don't know the San Bernardino shooter's passcode. Therefore, they went to the court, they want the Apple to hack the shooter's phone. I'm sure the FBI has a skilled hackers, but they are acting as if they can get into the uh, San Bernardino shooter's phone. That is very interesting to see. But interestingly, Apple CEO Tim Cook refused to hand over encryption software. If we value privacy, then Apple should never ever hand over the software to FBI. That's my take. Another interesting thing was happened yesterday. Kanye West wants a $1 billion to change the world. He says he's personally rich, but still he wants a $1 billion. So he takes uh, his matter to the Twitter and sends a tweet to uh, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> My question to Kanye West, to Kanye, if really you want to change the world, you don't actually need a billion dollars. Learn from a Mark Zuckerberg. Mark actually um, invented the entire Facebook sitting in his uh, uh, dorm room in Harvard University without any penny and he changed the world. Uh, you know what? If you really need money and if you really want, you actually you should have asked your agents and uh, find uh, Mark Zuckerberg's telephone and you can call and talk. I guess that your entire family are looking for some kind of attention. So you just went and tweeted, Kanye, if you really need some help with ideas to change the world, I am your man. You can also tell your mate Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> okay. Then Bernie Sanders was here last night uh, in Atlanta. He was in a black college and uh, he was talking to the uh, black audience and saying he's the man going to do it for the black people. But my uh, city mayor and my senator, both of them uh, disowned them. And I don't think so. He's going to get uh, any delegates uh, out from uh, Georgia. So Mr. Sanders, you are not a special man. You are not just going to change uh, black people's so problem. Look, even Obama, eight years in uh, office, he couldn't do it. So just feel it, okay? So what I want to tell is the art of knowing is knowing what to ignore. Rumi elaborately not telling anything. He just tells in a so simply simple words. Rumi says the art of knowing is knowing what to ignore. So people, you know what to ignore from them, right? So with that, I'll say everybody have a great day and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.